The next item is to copy a picture from the internet and put it into our document within Teams. So I'm looking at the internet now. This is the search results. You remember from uh, the Pool Lighthouse. At the moment, we've got text uh, returns for different areas of the Pool Lighthouse. What I'm looking for is a picture. And we find pictures of the lighthouse by, instead of looking at all, which is underlined there, we click on images. And we will find that images will come up of Pool Lighthouse. Um, that's a nice bright one there. So let me um, uh, move that one across. First thing we have to do is to copy it. There are a number of ways of copying uh, here. On pictures, most of the time, unless, unless there is a copyright on a picture, most of the time you can simply use the uh, right mouse button to copy. So instead of using the, light, the, uh, the left mouse button, we click with the right mouse button and that gives us a little drop down menu here. Now, I'll explain all of them a little later on, but we simply want to copy the image. So that's the option that we are going to uh, that we're going to choose. So I click on that and that, just like the text before, now copies that picture into the memory of the computer. So all I need to do now is go to my teams. And here is my document uh, and uh, I want to paste into into here. Remember, we can't use the paste in Word because it's not compatible. Uh, what we need to do is to use our keyboard shortcut. Just to remind you, I'll click on paste and then tell us we can't do that. There we go. It's given us a list of the keyboard shortcuts. So Control X to cut, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, uh, and pasting text only, Control plus a shift plus V. That's more advanced. We'll come on to that. So I'm going to use the Control and V, hold the Control down, press V. And here we have our picture winging its way from the internet uh, onto our document. That's a bit large there. So if I click on it, it gets the little handles around it. Uh, and we already know how to move screen boxes. Well, pictures work in the same way. Uh, so if we grab hold of one of those handles and drag it, that makes it into a more manageable size for us. Uh, good. Let's go back to the internet and and find another way of of actually um, doing a picture. So if I go over to the internet again and do my right mouse click, uh, what what I can also do is I can save the image. It says save an image as that means taking a copy of it and calling it your own name. Save it as another name. Uh, and that will save it onto your computer, but in a file. So it's, it's there for all, all time. Um, uh, so we could do that, or we could copy a link. So every time we open up our document in Teams, it has to link across the internet and find that image, which and, uh, uh, could, if the image was moved off the internet, you would lose that uh, image in your document. So uh, that's not one to use most of the time. The, the other way um, that we can copy anything at all uh, off the internet is to use a keyboard shortcut. The idea of the keyboard shortcut is uh, to use a number of characters on the keyboard. Let me just show you. Here's a picture of a keyboard. What I want you to do is to hold down the shift key and the Windows button. We talked about that before and then hit the S. And what that does is. I'll hold that down and hit the S. What it does is it grays the whole screen. Can you see there? It has grayed everything down and we've got a little white plus there. So if I simply grab a section just to show you, you can grab everything that has now copied that piece of information. If I pop across to my 